Hi everyone, Ariana Friedlander here with Rosabella Consulting. And this week I'm gonna show you how to use your journal to build your support team so that you may thrive. We as humans are hardwired for connection and belonging and beyond that, we can't do it all alone. We, we really do need to have a team to support us in making it happen. And this is one of those times where turning to the pages of your journal can be really illuminating and give you an opportunity to take control and find specific ways to help yourself. So who is on team you? That's what we're going to explore today. One of the quotes that I find is helpful for me is this quote from Fred Rogers. He says, anything that is human is mentionable and anything that is mentionable can be more manageable. When we talk about our feelings, they become less overwhelming, less upsetting, and less scary. The people we trust with that important talk can help us know that we are not alone. So this is where the team you really comes in, is the people that you can trust with this important talk. These are the people you can call in a crisis. You know they have your back. They're going to be supportive and helpful. They're not going to be demeaning undermining you uh, in, and you can really tell the difference when you reach out to people when you're in a moment of need you see those that are there for you and those that aren't sometimes it can be really hurtful sometimes the people you think will be there for you aren't going to be there for you after all so to get started you'll turn to a blank page in your journal and in the center you're going to write team your name of course I wrote team Ariana the other piece that I find is helpful is that you want a team that supports the whole you, not just a part of you. And so I've identified these four different areas that I find it helpful for me to have support professionally, personally, for my physical health and my spiritual well-being. So I've made little pockets of areas that I'm going to put people's names in. So I'll do this real quick. This is a new pen. Got some new supplies here. I uh, gotta take the thing off. Okay, so professionally, I have my mastermind group. I also have some coaches, Lisa and Dan. I have a colleague, Anjali. I have Casey. It turns out I have a lot of support professionally. I have Bob and I have Steph. I put them here because Bob and Steph also support me personally. There's lots of people that will support in different ways. I have Kristen personally. I have Tara. I have Julia. I have Evan. I have my cat. Don't know if you can hear her. She's meowing at me. I have Karen who supports me spiritually and personally. So there we go again. Oh, it would help if I had lines drawn here too, huh? Okay. These pens not working as well as I was hoping it would. Okay, for my physical health, I have an awesome team. I have Devin, I have Nicole, I have Liz and Carrie. There's my cat. Um... And, and of course, my, my physical health team is, you know, these are people I pay. There are people on here I pay, uh, but that doesn't make them any less valuable or meaningful for me. Uh, also, on my spiritual well-being, I have Nikki. I'm seeing here as I look at this, like, I, I could add more for professional support. I have so much support professionally. It's awesome. And personally and physically. And I'm noticing as I look at this, gosh, you know, an area where I could use some more support is around my spiritual well-being. And you know what? It makes sense. When I think about where I feel like I am struggling right now, it is here. And no surprise, I need more people I can call on in these times. So that's what's cool about doing this is that it it's an inventory. It's a way to really be intentional and thoughtful. It's a good reminder to remind myself, hey, maybe I should call Anjali the next time I'm facing a struggle here because I put her on here, right? Or Casey. Um, and then to recognize for myself as well, hmm, I need to take some time to go and review what I'm doing to support myself spiritually and who I might want to connect with in that realm. Okay. 
So super simple, again, super powerful. Team you, you need a team, you deserve a team. Make your team matter. Choose people that you trust with that important talk and reach out to them. Remember to reach out to them and nurture those relationships because that really helps in those times of need as well. Okay, so if you are ready to experience personal transformation or professional transformation, if you've been meaning to journal and you keep putting it off, um, if you just want to connect with some other journalers and just gain inspiration from that experience and ensure you're committing the time, come check out a journal jam. You're always welcome. More information about how to register is available below and on rosabellaconsulting.com. As always, I'm grateful to you and letting me share this journey with you. Thank you so much. I welcome your comments about how journaling has helped you build a support team that has helped you thrive. And as always, be well. Thank you so much. Take care.